Family, when I first heard this, I thought it was a damn joke. I thought somebody was playing with me. But uh, I looked into it, and this is a real thing. Transabled. They don't want to be transgendered. <laughs> well, they do. But transabled, where, where they think they're, uh, they want to be disabled. I shit you not. Look at this. One final point before we go. First, we had transgender, men who identify as women, women who identify as men. They are, they claim, the opposite gender of their birth gender because they feel they are trapped inside the wrong body. That's uh, bullshit. Nobody's trapped. Nobody. As a society, we accepted this. Then we got transracial. Rachel Dolezal, the white woman who pretended to be black and even led a chapter of the NAACP until she was... Ex I didn't even know they had something called transracial. See what I'm saying? exposed and thrown out. She claims she wasn't pretending to be black. She is black because she feels black. She's a black woman trapped in a white woman's body. She's trans. Now this trans thing, you can just be anything. You just feel it. And then you are it. <laughs> this shit is crazy. Racial, she says. As a society, we accepted this for the most part, except some liberals who claimed transracial is a thing, but Rachel Dolezal doesn't qualify because she's an imposter and a liar. And imposters and liars aren't entitled to their feelings or their identity. And trans is a word they made up to uh, help those that are mentally ill stay in mental illness. Trans ratio, transgender, transabled. There's more. After transgender and transracial, we got transabled. Yeah, this one's really messed up. Physically healthy people who feel they should have been born disabled. A man in Great Britain cut off his arm because he felt like an amputee. Mm. A woman in North Carolina poured drain cleaner in her eyes because she felt blind. Transgender, transracial, transabled. Guess what? Guess what? Yes. Uh, demons are really messing up the minds of humans, okay? I mean, like, you can give them all kind of damn names, but all it is right here to me is damn possession. Damn demons coming in, taking over, and you following along with it. Drain those in the damn eyes. To be blind, you want to cut your leg off now because uh, you feel like you shouldn't have no leg. You want to cut your penis off because you feel like you shouldn't have one. You want to tear up your vagina because you feel trapped inside. And the only way you can come out of this trappedness is with mutilation. So trans evidently to me means uh, you have to mutilate yourself in some way to be acceptable. Yeah, that's what trans mean to me. In order... To be trans, you have to mutilate yourself in some kind of way to be acceptable. Because that demon inside of you don't want you to be normal and happy and your perfect self. Nope. You got to mess up the creation. That's trans. What's next? A grown man posting an ad on Craigslist wanting a nanny because he identifies as a baby. You can't make this stuff up. Now they got people wanting to be babies. So you got grown men running around. Uh, wanting somebody to put a diaper on them, okay? You have grown men that want uh, doll skin. Yeah, doll skin. And they want to walk around in the doll skin because they feel like they trapped and they're female. Trans is a, just another word they made up to make excuses to mutilate and destroy the human body. That's all I can see. Ridiculous. Perhaps, but yes. who's to say anymore if that's how he feels? If a man can be a woman because he feels like one, if a white person can be a black person because she feels like one, if a healthy person can mutilate herself because she feels disabled, if a grown man can be a baby because he feels infantiled, where does this end? Can a child... It's never going to end because all they're going to do is keep making up words to accommodate mental illness to accommodate mutilating the human body because wicked don't like us at all and all they want to do is mess up the creation and they will keep making little uh news clips and articles and all type of videos and everything to push forward all of this fuckery all of this fuckery they legitimize it yeah you're trapped so go ahead on all right you're right you should be blind you should be amputated you should cut off something you should mutilate that body because you're not right the way you are. I don't know. I don't see nothing else but demon possession. I don't know what y'all see. This shit is crazy. Be an adult because she feels like a grown up. Can a teenager buy alcohol because he identifies as over 21 years of age? 
Can a grown man attend kindergarten because he identifies as a six-year-old girl? Can a ch- of course, of course, because you know what? They're going to pass all of that stuff. As long as you identify as some fuck shit, and then they're going to find a way for you to go ahead and do that. Because that's the world that we live in now. You don't even, you know what? Just identify uh, as anything you want to. You furry. You want to be a dog? Now you a furry. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they legitimizing every kind of fuckery. And you know what? Society is accepting it. You know why? Uh, because it's the way. You, you, hey, let people be people. But it's not the people that are being people. It's wicked taking over the people. And doing this to him. Child spend the day at doggy daycare instead of school because the child feels like a canine? If not, why not? If a kid can be transgender because he feels like a girl, who are we to tell a child he must attend school or obey his parents or refuse him a beer when he orders one? You can't have it both ways. If children have a right to parents providing for them and a man identifies as a child because he feels he is a child trapped in an adult body, and if we're playing by these twisted, disordered, ridiculous rules where illusion and emotions trump objective truth, right. aren't we violating his rights by refusing him the love and care and financial support every child deserves? Just something for liberals to think about before they push the boundaries of identity politics past the point of no return. When you sacrifice objectivity and reality, like transgender, transracial, transabled, trans species, trans aged, you get cultural absurdity. And we promise to cover it every step of the way because it has only just begun. And this thing is not lying right here. <laughs> Who looks like a trans uh, female uh, itself. But this thing is not lying right here. Uh, once they open the door and we start accepting all the fuckery, now they can be anything the fuck they want to. And what? Laws are going to be passed now. Yeah, you can be disabled and you're not disabled. And you know what? They have doctors ready for you. They have doctors to legitimize all of that. They have doctors to amputate, mutilate, and destroy the human body. I don't see nothing else but a demon agenda uh, going on to the people to mutilate creation. That's it. Mutilate creation. And this one is not lying. (laughs) It's just beginning. We ain't seen shit yet. I thought this was a fucking joke. Damn trans-abled. What the fuck else is next?